Good day, everyone. This week on Vision Global News, we will give you an update on small knives will soon be allowed back on planes, and new credit score system could help millions of consumers. And in sports and entertainment, we will talk about a new luxury movie theater opened in Henderson, and Tiger Woods wins 17 World Golf Championship title. And, well, Nancy is out on a mission today. I'd like to welcome back Ruth Rain to the show. Thank you, Shannon. I'm glad to see you all again. Today, we will be interviewing Ms. Monica Ford, the President and Executive Director of Nevada Partners, Incorporated, and Paul Texan, a Managing Partner and Real Estate Broker at Capital Investments Group, Incorporated. Yes, and also today, um, we'll be sharing with you a video from last weekend's Children's Health Fair that was held in North Las Vegas. But before we do that, let's bring back Melody Mojica for the Philippine Times news segment. Now here are the updates. Despite strong opposition from some pilots, flight attendants, and members of Congress, the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, will stick with its decision allowing small knives on planes. An agency spokesman said they intend to implement the changes on April 25. Experts believe hardened cockpit doors and engaged passengers minimize chances that any hijacking attempt would be successful. However, knives that most closely resemble weapons, specifically those with blades that lock in place or have molded hand grips, are still in the prohibited item list including box cutters and razor blades, which has an emotional connection with the 9-11 hijacking. The TSA said the latest decision also will bring the United States into basic compliance with international standards. CNN reports that a new credit scoring model will potentially boost scores for many credit applicants and help establish credit for millions of people who previously had little or no credit history. The new scoring model will be used in the latest version of the Vantage score, the credit score created by three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. The president of Consumer Education for SmartCredit.com said that debts that go into collection, even if they are paid off, are factored into all credit scores up to seven years. But the new scoring model will no longer factor these accounts into a consumer score if the debt was paid in full or settled just as long as the balance is zero. It will also weigh rent and utility payment records and public records like bankruptcies for people with very limited credit histories. This will allow it to score as many as 30 million people who previously couldn't get a credit score and potentially help them qualify for more competitive credit rates. For more information about these new stories, pick up a copy of Philippine Times at your favorite Asian store. This is Melody Mojica reporting for the Philippine Times of Southern Nevada. The Asian Global News will be right back. Buying a tax preparation software is like cutting your own hair. You may not like the results. Get a tax professional to defend you from the IRS. Get the money you deserve accurately and quickly. Come to quick refunds now. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today.